kind of a big deal. I can't stand when people just start switching up once they get a little bit of status and money. I'm just regular degular, don't worry. I'm never gonna switch up a change. I'm just mad basic. But the fragrance that I have on today is far from basic. It is from the house of Dua, so it is a clone, but they might have ended off the year with a bang with this fragrance. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I could just, you know, maybe take a nap after, cause I can make my PJs and I'm just ready to go to bed. Blessed morning, my beautiful people. You know who it is. This is your boy, C3U to the B to the A, aka Mr. Mad Basic. The fragrance that I have on hand today is a sexy, delicious fragrance, actually, by the Fragrance House of Dua. And the joint is none other than British Oud. British Oud? is a breath of fresh air let me tell you listen i haven't smelled the original from fragrance dubois and i need to get my hands on the original joint because if this is any interpretation or if it's any bit close to what the original smells like i need to get a full bottle so i can have that shit as a backup once this shit goes low because this is such a wearable smooth spearmint oud that's super different. I like the fact that it's a switch up. You're always thinking about oud being dark, maybe animalic, maybe a little bit musty, or just a wearable oud that's just thick and robust. This one is bright and a little bit minty. It's got that nutmeg swag. It's got a bergamot blast. This is a very wearable oud, and not only wearable, but different, which is super plus because this is kind of a breath of fresh air. Uh, breath of fresh air. The performance power of this one in particular is is do a regular eight plus, which is perfectly fine, but this is not an animalic or danky fragrance. This is actually super nice. It's me, it feels a little smooth and slightly fruity. There's a little fruity component here. So you got oud, you got spearmint, you got nutmeg, you got a little coming up in here. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like there's some kind of fruit essence, something real sweet in here to just kick that oud up a little bit, but it's just mad different, fam. Yo, once you spray that shit, the spearmint definitely smells like Wrigley spearmint gum juice. You definitely smell the oud. The spearmint is definitely the star upon the opening and you definitely get the little sprinkles, those little taps of nutmeg on this piece. Bergamon is definitely super present and it actually smells very well blended. So shout out to Dua for concocting this in a way that it doesn't smell like sharp edges or hard transitions. It's smelling like a smooth little fucking roller coaster ride all the way to the base of my shaft. Super wearable, super fun, fresh, oody. This is actually quite, quite nice. For me to have, this is probably gonna be the last dual fragrance that I have for this 2019 calendar year. And I think I ended it off perfectly well. So if you're into the house of Dua and you wanna smell a spearmint oud, which just sounds crazy weird, but it's really nice. I suggest you check this shit out, sample it, whatever the fuck you wanna do, or just wait till 2020 and see what other concoctions they come up with. I love y'all motherfuckers from the hearts. This is absolutely a bowl sprayer, and I must do so as we speak, cause as you know, I like to be basic and regular. Let's go, fam. Yo, that spearmint and oud combination, never would've thought of something like that working, but yo, it works. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. It's the most basic in the game. Just broke 30,000. Smooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga gay. It's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you.